Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be solving a problem related to acceleration. So let's get started. So the problem reads, a train starting from a railway station and moving with a uniform acceleration attains a speed of 40 km per hour in 5 minutes. Then brakes were applied to it so that its velocity comes down to 10 km per hour in the next 5 minutes. Find its acceleration in both the cases. Now this problem comprises of two parts. That is in first part the train starts from a railway station from rest and in 5 minutes it attains a speed of 40 km per hour. But after that the brakes were applied to the train and because of which the velocity comes down to 10 meters 10 kilometers per hour in the next five minutes and this portion of uh, the journey of the train is in our part two and in both the parts we need to find the acceleration of this train so let's try to solve this problem first of all we'll write whatever is given in the first case let us take the first part of the problem to be case one so our initial velocity becomes u equals 0 meters per second since the train starts from the railway station where it was at rest. And the final velocity here is 40 kilometers per hour which is given to us and the time that it took for this increase in velocity is 5 minutes. Now we see that these two quantities here are not in SI units. So our first step towards solving a problem will be converting the quantities which are not in SI units to SI units. So let's do that first. We know that 1 kilometers per hour equals 5 by 18 meters per second. I have already used this formula in many of the problems before and I have also derived uh, this formula. So we'll be directly applying this formula here in this problem. So 40 kilometers per hour will be 40 multiplied by 5 by 18, which equals 11.11 meters per second. Now we know that one minute equals 60 seconds. So five minutes will be equal to five multiplied by 60, which is 300 seconds. So now we have converted both the velocity and the time interval to SI units which are meters, meters per second and seconds respectively. Let's go ahead and find the acceleration now. So acceleration for the first case let us take it at, as A1. We know the formula of acceleration which is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by the time taken for reaching that velocity. So here our acceleration will be final velocity that is 11.11 minus initial velocity which is 0 divided by the time taken which is 300 seconds. So here our acceleration turns out to be 0 0.037 meters per second square and this acceleration since it is positive it is towards the direction of motion of the body. Now here I have uh, written this that is the unit of acceleration. Whenever you try to solve a problem related to acceleration, you need to write the SI unit of acceleration and don't ever forget this because this is very important and this quantity over here is meaningless without this unit. Yes. So let's move on to the case 2 of this problem. So initial velocity for case 2 will be the final velocity of case 1. So initial velocity here is 40 km per hour which we have already found out to be 11.11 meters per second and the final velocity uh, has been provided to us by the question which is 10 km and this velocity change has happened and in the in the time duration of 5 minutes which is again 300 seconds 
Now we need to convert this quantity to SI unit since it is not in SI unit. So let's do that first. In order to convert this to SI unit, we must multiply 5 by 18. So velocity here becomes 5 by 18 multiplied by 10, which is 2.78 meters per second approximately. So our acceleration will be equal to 82, that is uh, 2.78 minus 11.11 divided by 300, which yields an answer of minus 0 0.0278 meters per second squared. And so we see here that this acceleration turns out to be negative since the brakes were applied and there was a decrease in velocity in the second case. And whenever there is a decrease in velocity, the acceleration of the body acts opposite to the motion of the body or opposite to the uh, velocity direction of the body. So this acceleration is in opposite direction to the motion of the body. So this is how we find out the acceleration in both the cases. And I hope you will be able to solve similar problems. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.